So welcome back again, Mattis here from Jokmok and today we're going to look a little bit closer at Thermocell uh, mosquito blah 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 machines and I'm going to tell you what's good and what's bad with them and I'm also going to show you some small tricks how you can refill them by yourself and save a lot of money. But let's roll the intro, ciao! We are Stina and Matti, we run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lapland. For living, we work as nature guys and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. Okay, hey, Matt is back again. This time I'm going to talk about this Thermocell uh, mosquito machines. Uh, they're very very similar. This one MR450. It's a little bit newer, but they still sell this uh, older style. This machine has uh, no electricity. It just have an ignition like this with a sparkle that start it. This one is a little bit more advanced. It's with a electric starter and the lamp that shows when it's working, when it's warm. Anyway, this thermosel, both of them make the same job for you. It takes away some of the mosquito. When you start this one, you open it here, and in here there is a gas tube. This gas tube, uh, you put it in, in the machine, close it, and then you have uh, uh, tablets like this. When you open the package, they look like this. This one is more or less used. You put this in here. Then you open the gas and you hear a small sound from it and you lighten it. And then you look in here and then you should see that it's a small glowing thing there. This works the same. You open the gas and you start it and you can see if it's burning inside here. It takes five to ten minutes before this is warm enough for, uh, for the pad to start uh, giving away smoke. Uh, what actually happens if you put this in the tent, the mosquito dies. They drop down almost dead to the floor. When you buy this it's written that, that one of these should take away the mosquitoes in 20 square meters. It don't work like that. If you have, like today, the lake is like a mirror, then the smoke goes around me and take away the mosquito. Yeah, probably 20 square meters. But usually you don't have evenings like this. Usually you have a small wind. And if you have a small wind, you had to put two or three out of, the, of them uh, in the wind direction. So the smoke comes to you and then the mosquito goes away. I have for many years laughing to these machines, but and I actually had to, yeah, they work. They take away the mosquitoes, they do that. Not 100%, but they take away a lot of mosquitoes. If you know how to use them, where to put them. What I don't like with this one, with the battery, is that I have had it for one, two years now, and uh, I have never replaced the battery, so maybe it's not the problem, but I know one day the battery is out, and probably that happened when I'm out on a longer tour. This thermocell, they are almost 200 gram. If I go on a hiking tour, I, I don't bring them. I could bring them if I go on a hiking tour in the forest area, and if I can't make fire. If I do a canoe tour or kayak tour into the forest area, where I know it's a lot of mosquitoes, then I bring one, two, or even three of them, if I have a group with me, because then we can put them around our lunch place, around our dinner place, and, and that, that makes the life much, much more easy out there. I once, I tried it in the tent, I forgot to close my tent and I had a lot of mosquito in the tent, so I switched this on inside the tent. Uh, a few minutes later I came there and I wanted to go to bed, so I put this outside because I don't want to sleep with the smoke, and I made a lot of ventilation and then I went to bed, and there was no mosquito inside my tent. Next morning when I wake up, it was a lot of mosquitoes there. So it don't, you had to keep it on for a while 
for really killing the mosquito. If you don't do that, the mosquito just kind of falls to sleep and wake up in the night and eat you. What's the bad side of this? You had to buy these gas tubes. I think one of these gas tubes should stay for 12 hours. And I think one of these stays for like uh, three hours. It's, it's pretty expensive, at least for me. But I will show you later in the, this video how to replay, refill them by yourself. Another downside with this too, and that's if you're looking at the environmental, we, we are all out here because we love nature. And uh, this is another thing to produce. And when you produce things, you use resources from the planet. And if you can avoid that, that's better for the planet. And this blue tablet, uh, it's written on all the package that they are poison. Of course it's poison. It's not vitamins for you. So you should be very aware where you throw these tablets afterwards. Don't put them in the water. Don't put them away. Put them... Uh, in the garbage or I don't know if you can burn them. I put them on the fire sometimes. This one have a clip on the back side. You should be able to put it on the backpack like this. That don't work for me because when I have it clipped here I walk in and the smoke stays where I just pass by. It's not the smoke where I come to. I think this works best if I can put them around me when I'm sitting on the same place if it's no wind. Then, then they make their job. Should you get them or shouldn't you get them? If I hadn't been working as a guide and bringing people outside, and some people are really allergic to mosquitoes and have really problem with them, I wouldn't buy it. I only have it because I bring groups out and I really try to make the situation better for my groups. That's the only reason why I have them. I would never have it uh, just for myself. Then I... I I use mosquito preparation or just to dress me better or make a fire. This is a very, very good tool when you're working with people in the, in the mosquito area. Maybe for families with children. So now I will continue later with showing how to refill it by yourself. Let's go. So now we're back inside here. Now we're going to look how to refill one of these. You can see this is one of them I have just used. It's empty now. And this is one that I have refilled. So what I do uh, is that I make a mark. You can see here. I mark it. Maybe I had to bring it inside and make it with a better pen. But this pen should be okay. I mark the level where the gas is usually. And then I have a full gas um, and I see where, which level it is because I don't want to overfill them. So you need a marking pen. Uh, you need one of these. A trall screw, a screw, a very narrow one. And some kind of uh, super attack glue uh, and uh, you also need one of these light gas for lighter button gas i don't know the english today i have two of them that i will refill the first thing you do take away this take this grab down here with this close to the plastic. Now when you pull this out you should not destroy it but you should so out. Very simple. This one you should be a little bit careful with because there is a rubber on the top of it. If you look now there is a hole and the whole thing with this is that in here they have put a kind of ventile so you can't refill it. Then you need a screw and of course you need a screwdriver. Need a screwdriver and so 
when that's ready take this again and pull it out and now if there is a little bit gas it will be like a small poof no gas and now it's a hole straight into this take this small thing again mess thing bronze uh, I, I, uh, this small golden color stuff You take some super glue attack glue so I am um, had to take away my glasses like this then what I do is that I put super glue in this hole like this little bit not much then this should go back and now you have to be a little bit quickly quick i put it like this and then it's back again first i had to mark uh, how much the level then the gas put it like this and but it's leaking like hell that's not good so we have to look at this one usually when you buy this on the hat you get a lot of different small uh, of this then you need someone that's tiny in the top that can go down and open the ventile you put this put this on the top here make it like this and now we fill in slowly it always looks easier than it is so this is the tricky part and uh, you see I've done it several times and it don't work well for me even probably someone have found if you're looking at YouTube someone have found a better way to do this and slowly slowly the level of the gas reach soon reach the top level so I don't fill it all the way and what you should do then is to listen if it's leaking yeah now it's silent we also had to talk about this ones the blue tablets these tablets that you put on the machine uh, that follow they are really good but you can also find other ones this one is a little bit smaller they make the same job more or less they are made these ones are actually made for indoor use these tablets uh, that follow with thermocell they are also quite expensive to buy you can find other brands mr mosquito is this i don't really know the name but you find them on the internet you find them in the normal shop you find them in the normal shop above arctic circle at least um, different kind of brands all of them are in different size and some is made for indoor maybe less poison and some is made this thermocell is made for outdoor you can't really read on the package what's in them or anything like that I also heard people that uh, order them from from on the internet from Asia or something like that where they don't have the same restrictions as we have and then they are much much more uh, strong I prefer to not have the strongest one because it is poison and it's poison for me and for the nature. Uh, I want to get rid of the mosquito but it's other uh, insects I don't want to get rid of. So I get the little bit weaker ones. Now I also want to say welcome to two new patrons. One is Thomas Weishar. 
I don't know if I'd said the last name in, in, a, in a good way. And Mikke Olofsson. So welcome, welcome to the channel. Uh, now it's time for me to go inside and have dinner. So see you next time. Ciao.